Modern CSS makes it super easy to support both light and dark modes, and in Angular Material 19, it's finally built in. Let me show you how it works. It completely changes the way we create themes in Angular. Before we talk about Angular Material, we need to understand some core CSS features. These are the building blocks of theming in Angular Material. First, let's talk about custom properties. CSS custom properties, also known as CSS variables, allow you to define values once and then reuse them throughout your styles. You can set them high up on your HTML and they will cascade down in, through the HTML hierarchy. Then you just use the var function to apply them to any standard properties. It's like giving a nickname to a color or size or spacing and then calling it whenever you need it. And here's the best part. If you ever want to change all the places where this color appears, you only need to update it once. Next, the color scheme property. The color scheme property chooses between dark and light mode. Set it to dark to enforce dark mode or light to enforce light mode. It controls the default styling of things like texts, inputs, backgrounds, so they automatically match the selected mode. There's also a third option, light dark. It doesn't mix the two modes together. Instead, it lets the operating system decide. Your browser will follow the user's system preferences. So if the user changes their preferred mode in the system settings, your website will automatically and instantly adapt to the latest change without any extra code. The color scheme only affects the browser's default colors. However, it's likely that you have set most of the colors explicitly using CSS. These will not be affected, but most of the time we would prefer that these colors also comply with the color scheme. So how do we do that? Well, that's where the third feature comes in, the light dark function. This function lets you define one value for light mode and another for dark mode, and the browser picks the correct one depending on the currently selected color scheme. This way, your custom properties can respond automatically to changes in color scheme. It's done dynamically on the browser in runtime without any media queries and without extra logic. It's clean, it's elegant, and it's super powerful. Angular Material 19 builds directly on top of these CSS features. The matte theme mixing only defines custom CSS properties and Angular Materials components use them and we can also use them in our own custom components. These properties are defined using the light dark functions so they respond to changes in color schemes. So without any additional code, without any other work, your themes already support both light and dark mode. Just set the color scheme to light dark on the root element and your site will adapt to the user system preferences. Angular Material 19 introduces powerful new features that make theming much easier and more flexible. It simplifies many aspects of customizations, from themes to color palettes, component styles, fonts, even icons. If you want to dive deeper and see how to use all of these new features in practice, I go through them step by step in my new Udemy course titled Theming, Angular and Material, The Missing Guide. You'll find a link and a discounted coupon in the description.